Hey Toots, want to get acquainted with the best dick in Los Angeles? Danny Mullen, private detective. Well, there's no shortage of moisture in the women of Los Angeles. But the city itself, it's almost out of water. A mega drought is choking the western and southwestern regions of the U.S. It's the worst drought in over 1,000 years. And the need for continued water conservation across the state is apparent. I've never seen anything even close to this with 98% of the state in a state of drought. Is it really a surprise? I mean, they built this place in the middle of a goddamn desert. Here's what happened. It started with the moving picture industry. Thomas Edison, well, back up. Technically, there were some Indians and Mexicans first, but you know how that goes. A guy went, oh! another guy made him a taco, and that brings us to 1900. Thomas Edison patents motion picture technology in New Jersey, and anybody making movies owed him a hefty royalty. However, it wasn't long before directors simply ditched the East Coast then the hub of the industry, to escape Edison's taxation. Mm, where to go? If only there were a far-off, sunny place, where production could take place all year round, and with diverse enough terrain to simulate any location on Earth. Oh yeah, Hollywood land was born. So were a bunch of babies, I guess, because between 1900 and 1910, the population tripled. 300,000 was a lot of life to support in Los Angeles. Especially when the water supply was limited to the rain god beating off on the city a couple times in January. Some mick named Mulholland had a solution. This guy went all the way up to Owens Lake and dug a 230 mile ditch back to Los Angeles. No pumps, no electricity, pure gravity. Of course, the Owens Valley farmers saw this as theft, but what are a bunch of dumb Okies gonna do? Mulholland's ditch system is pretty much how California's water works today. Aqueducts spring water from where it actually rains, the northern part of the state, down to the south where it doesn't. But what happens when it stops raining, even up there? Charlie! Charlie, who are you? <laughs> who, who am I and why is he here? Yes. Uh, I'm the executive director now of the Southern California Water Coalition. Hi, my name is Karina Martinez. I am the director of communications for Corazon Latino. I've heard these drought conditions we're experiencing right now are some of the worst in modern history. Yeah, I mean, we're in the worst drought in about 1,200 years. What do you think, Charlie? Water wasters or conservers? I'm guessing these are water conservers. You guys into conserving water? Yes, we are. You're Duffy from Arizona. Nope. You basically just called this guy a retired golf cart jockey. <laughs> you read my mind so well. How was that? That was so well. What I think is unique about your organization is your focus on environmental and racial justice. Across the country, we are experiencing climate change, and the impact of that is experienced the most by people of color. Do I not look Native Hawaiian to you? Do I not sound Native Hawaiian? Should I be honest? Well, listen, in addition to saving the water, he will show up at your house and give you the best goddamn luau you've ever experienced, okay? What are you, what are you grilling? A, well, hole a hole in the ground. A hole in the ground. With a pig. pig. Baby, you are roasting that pig in the ground. You like surfing? Yes. This guy yeah. invented the hang ten. No. No. <laughs> he invented it. You want me to do the joke? Yeah. So there was one joke they wanted me to read that I guess is at least partially about water. You guys, you guys want a waterfall? Uh, a Tabo Chico? Charlie, would you like that? Save water! Drink seltzers poured in your mouth oh. by complete strangers! Yes. Yes. No H2O. No H2O. No, that's so a Pollock goes to the public pool for swim lessons. His instructor is a cute teenage girl. And she says to him, do you have any swimming experience? He says, no. 
She says, I think we start you off with the breaststroke. <laughs> he says, uh, I can do that one. And she whacks him on the head and says, not that kind of breaststroke. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm allowed to laugh that. You get it though, because it's it's they're at the pool and it's there's water in it. Definitely, yes. And you know, going back to our theme, they're definitely trying to cool off, right? Yeah, yeah. That girl Leslie, boy, she was easy on the eyes. So this is this is this is how you end up picking up the dates. You end up out here on the street, and it's just. I'll say this, Charlie. I've resorted to much worse. <laughs> It's gotten me into some financial trouble, Charlie. I'll just say that. I, I, I'm sure it's gotten you into a lot more than financial <laughs> The people in the urban center, how do we save water? What can we do? What can we do? You know, like you said, we're not the ones with the big corporations, you know, like leading to all of this, uh, to all of the emissions. We want to also be able to um, limit corporate activities. So it has to be done on the personal level. But also, we got to fight the fight on Capitol Hill. What's really important, too, is we want to be able to continue to innovate because we might not have, we don't have all of the answers right now, but if we continue to look into what are the best ways to preserve our water, how can we go into, how can we produce energy in different ways? Mm -hmm. Don't take 30-minute showers. Now, this may cut down on your dating, when you're doing the joint shower thing, that is not gonna save you water. I'm just telling you that now. That's sort of my style. Shorten the shower five minutes. What about baths? Baths actually are water wasters. 55% of our water right now is imported either from the Colorado River yeah. or North California. We're proving up that we can purify this water. And the hell are you doing? Basil. During the interview? Bro, I'm afraid of the wet, dude. I told you, the number one contributor to water waste in the household is taking baths. And he got the shower head running. Dummy! Dummy! Sorry, Basil. Sometimes I have problem with my bitch. Uh, this is a PG-13 uh, or 11 PG interview. So oh, of so course. Anyway. So we're working on a project that could purify that water and that could produce enough um, mm -hmm. water for one and a half million people. You're water, Hitler! You're water, Hitler! All right, dude. All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it loose. All right. No, wait, no, Basil, Basil, Basil. Hey, get outside, get outside. Basil, that fiend has been banished. The heat and the drought, you know, I mean, people literally have to move. Their homes have to be evacuated if they're in oh! risk of fire. Did you just hit me with a water balloon? Yeah, you dirty so dog! <laughs> you dirty dog! <laughs> you think you're running an interview for climate justice and all of a sudden you get nailed with a balloon. All right, yeah, yeah, sorry, you sorry. Hit him with a water balloon? Yeah. You nailed me in my new suit! Arena, can you believe this jack off just came in here and got me square in the shoulder place? He's gonna pay! Watch this, Karina. We're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. Get outside! Get outside! Get outside, you dirty dog! <laughs> I got him good! I got him good! This is a pretty serious issue. Um, Basil, did you see how hard I came down on that water waster? Yeah, anyway. All right, man. Have a, have a great weekend. No, Basil, uh, we cannot discontinue the interview. I want you to say your piece. It's, it's our piece. It's, it's what we need so, you know, to, to sustain our life in, in Southern California. Wait, Basil. God damn it, Water Hitler again! Oh, this, this is Hitler! genocide! This is genocide, Basil! All right, so I am gonna beat the shit out of you! I'm gonna thump you good this time! Damn it. You made me lose Basil! I'm gonna tell you my point of view from the research I've done. It seems like 
some of the solutions are strong solutions, but there are people who are maybe a tad too concerned about the environment, and they won't let us fully utilize solutions like, for instance, desalination. The Claude Lewis Carlsbad desalination plant outside of San Diego is the largest of its kind in the Western Hemisphere, producing 50 million gallons of clean water a day. Am I way off target here? You're right on point, because it's an all the above, and anybody that comes and tells you, I got the silver bullet, I got the magic answer, they're blowing smoke up your ass. Hmm. It's got to be a little bit of everything. Hmm. You can't just build desal every five miles down the coast. Yes. But you can build a few. Yeah. And all that bath water, yes. all that, we can recycle that and put it to use. That takes 10, 15 years to put it in place. Mm -hmm while we're taking shorter showers, hmm. while we're not watering the lawn. If we call upon our elected officials and each other to conserve water, you think we can avoid catastrophe? Absolutely, without question. What you can do is perhaps put a bucket beneath your shower head. Collect the excess water as the water's heating up. Use it on your plants. Hey, your government will even pay you to take your yard out. Just take the lawn out. You can get some tumbleweed and cactus out there. It's a desert landscape, it's beautiful. It's just be smart about it, mm -hmm. don't be stupid. I think we've really given the audience a jumping off point for how they can be less wasty wasters and be more like me and you, Charlie. I'm Are a you? UCLA grad. Me too, right. me too. Right. Class of 2013, North yeah. Campus, history. 1984, North Campus Political Science. <laughs> they called me the H2O Gestapo. Did they really? That's what they called me at UCLA. It was unreal when I was there. It was absolutely unreal. And I take that whole campus and put it on recycled water. Yeah. How can we do that? Uh, they're working on it. Me, it's a, lo a lot of it's uh, people. Uh, who ordered the 300 uh, gallon kiddie pool with uh, bitches in it? What? That, uh, We're conducting an interview here, man. the pool? Yeah. You went with the pool? Four! Sorry, excuse me. Three minutes? And, and they were supposed to be four. So we're missing a bit. No, Charlie, you have to make the topic palatable for the masses. And we thought this would be the best this way. This is perfect. Okay. How's it going, man? You want to get in back here? Get in there. What's going on, bro? <laughs> See, what did I tell you? Say conserve water, you save gotta California. Conserve water, you got to save California. Now get in there. I can't get in there. Why man? can't you get in there? I, I have a girlfriend, Danny. Get in there. Yeah, Danny, I love you so much. Well, you got to get in there then. If you love Danny, you'll get in that pool. You, no, he's going to get <laughs> murdered. Your girlfriend's a spicy Latina woman, right? Exactly. Neck tattoo, hot Cheeto addiction. No, not really. I'm sorry. I just... <laughs> Thank right. you, Charlie. Thank you, guys. Like the video. Get on it and subscribe to this channel. Yes. Tell them it'll save California. You alone can save California. By liking and subscribing the video. By liking yeah. and subscribing this video. Yeah. If you are loving what we're doing on this channel, guys, please consider supporting it on Patreon. You get a bunch of extra content, live streams with me, extra cuts, exclusive vlogs, and also, if these girls are okay with it, you might get to see some exposed breasts. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go to the town and do it. <laughs> <laughs> Follow these girls on Instagram. These two here, you might be able to see a little more if you click on a little linky link in their bios. Right? Right? Mm -hmm. There might be some content going up on there that takes place in the back of this van. Should we go? Should we just yeah. do something crazy? Let's do something crazy. Let's do something crazy. Nico, back out. Come on, this is oh, exclusive shit. content. <laughs>do we need rain right now, Charlie? We need rain and snow real bad right now. Real bad. Real bad. Well, I just tried to walk into this Native American community center here in Bakersfield, California, and I was told to get away from the building. <laughs> they thought it would be so easy. Just know, audience, that this job... Uh, 
This job requires a certain amount of finesse. Excuse me, sir. We traveled all the way from LA <clears throat> to learn about the drought that we understand is hitting the Central Valley especially hard. Has that interfered with your life at all recently? Oh yeah. It has? What do you do professionally, sir? Me, I'm uh, disabled. That's hot. It's hot. It's hot. I'm not uh, as sure-handed with the cigarettes out here. I think it's something about the aridness of the climate. Your grocery prices, I imagine, have gone up since this drought has really gotten in full swing. Oh, we're struggling. You're struggling. See, that's what I'm trying to come out here and do something about. What is this building here? For the Cherokee uh, Indian. Are you Cherokee yourself, sir? My wife is. She is? Her? Yes. What's her name? Bonita. Bonita. Sir, one moment, I'm just talking. I don't know if this is considered um, culturally out of fashion, but I was wondering if you could maybe speak to Bonita about a rain dance. Mm. I don't know, I'd have to talk to him in there and see. We've exhausted almost every other possibility. I think it's time to turn to spirituality. Yeah. Like I said, I'll, I'll talk to them in there and see, but... Rain dance, possibly? No, thank you. Bonita, Terry, anybody. You guys were so lovely, but we must bring moisture <laughs> to the ground out here. Please, anything. No, no. that's it. Okay, well, one thing. I'm just gonna leave a note. I'm just gonna leave a note because this... All right. I need you off the property, yes. Care for a cigarette? No, thank you. You take care now. I'm at Murray Farms here on the outskirts of Bakersfield. It's a place I've been to shoot videos before. When there was no drought, voila! It was open to all. But now, with the drought, closed, which leads me to think something's going on behind these closed gates involving water, perhaps the misuse of water. Again, it is closed, but as I said back with the Indian feller, this profession requires a certain amount of finesse. I was just wondering why the farm out here is closed. To get ready for Uh huh. And right now it is August 13th, 14th, something around there? Yeah. Okay, so that's September, October. Getting quite the jump on it. Oh, yeah. Do you have any recommendations for fresh produce? We actually teamed up with IFG, and it's a big company, the company that created the cotton candy grapes, so we teamed up with them. Which ones are the collaboration grapes? All of them. All of the IFG. Huh? And tell me, how has the drought affected the business here? Your own well. Been as affected as other mm -hmm. farms. Um, $6. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, that's all I know about it. Um, I'm sure the owner would know more. Mm. Is the owner on site today by any chance? He isn't. No, I think they're going on a family vacation. Wow, family vacation. In the height of the drought. Very convenient. Yeah. <laughs> Do they need washing? That is good. <laughs> Try one of these. Unwashed, but delicious. Holy shit. It is amazing though. Such high quality grapes produced off mm -hmm. only well water. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah, Nico, the thing you need to keep in mind. Mm. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm it's just, I'm, I'm sorry, it's, it's, I'm, We might need to clean up, clean up over here if somebody can get the mop. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, uh, we're trapped, Nico. We gotta go through the exit. Nico, come here. The Oktoberfest story is a load of baloney. Two months to get ready for some German horse shit. We need to find the well. We're finding the well! 
Let's go, Nico. Come on. Let's go, Nico. This job was never supposed to be easy. Let's go. We just want the well water, man. We just want to find the well water. I don't want to use this. Sarah, we just want to find the well. We want to understand the real reason why this farm is shut down in the middle of August. I don't want to pull the trigger. I don't want you to pull that trigger either. It'll be a bad day for everybody here. I did pay for these, ma'am. They are delicious. The fact remains the same. You just went into an employee-only uh, area. There was a clearly posted sign. Mm -hmm. you totally ignored it. You went through a private office. Let's try not to do that. You're welcome to stay in the public areas and do your little whatever you're doing, but please respect our private areas. Please respect me. I don't appreciate the condescension. What we're doing right now is going to change the direction of this state. Been warned. Thank you. I appreciate your patronage, but please respect our boundaries. I appreciate my patriotism. Well, Nico, we tried our best. We tried to find the wells. These grapes are really damn good. I don't like what's going on. Water hoarding is what's going on. I don't even need to go back and see it with my own eyes. We don't need grapes fused with cotton candy. We should not be expending water resources to make these. Whatever's in the well should be pumped into an aqueduct and brought down to the thirsty citizens of LA. You wanna see how bad it is? You wanna see how bad it is, Nico? No, I don't. I'm going to show you how bad it is. I'm going to show you how bad Los Angeles' water situation is. I want a more dramatic word to go out on. I'm going to show you how bad Los Angeles' water situation... I don't have a lot of choices, do I? I'm going to show you that the Los Angeles water situation is really, really bad. This is a pretty good shot of the bathtub ring effect. Or if toilet humor is more up your alley, the shit ring effect. You can see the water used to come up across the lake all the way to about the same elevation we're standing. It's bad. It's real bad. People are out here still engaging in aquatic activities, but I don't know for how much longer. I'm surprised there's still concrete down there at the bottom of this boat ramp. I'm surprised we're not dropping off our ski into mud. Yeah, careful, that propeller is gonna be scraping the bottom of it pretty soon. Oh, yeah, right? Shallow. We got it. This is crazy. For you. Yeah. Are you permitted? Not really. Right. We'll need to shut it down. We're gonna shut it down? No, sir. We're we're uh, exposing the situation of the drought. We're actually doing you guys a favor out here. I appreciate it. We'll need to shut it down if you're not permitted to uh, permit schmermit. Come on, buddy. We're just having a little bit of fun out here. Shut it down. Shut it down. Yeah. You're gonna have to call the ranger on me, Barrios. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We gotta look into this situation. You're a lifeguard. And you're gonna be out of business soon. Barrios, you gotta relax, buddy. Come on. This whole lake thing, at least as far as this lake in particular, it's gonna be done before we know it. It's time to shut it down. Thank you. Is it time to shut it down? Yes. I appreciate it. No, you don't appreciate it. It doesn't seem like you like me at all. Time to shut it down. Barrios. You. Give me one second. I want to go for a little dip. We came all the way from Los Angeles. If I go in the water, I don't want to get my suit wet. I've got water still. That's a blessing. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get my ass in the water. I've worked hard. Nico, yes or no? Just nod with the camera. Have I been hiking my ass up and down in Bakersfield, California, various mountains and reservoirs in Hollywood? I've been all over the place. No, 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 no. Is it criminal? <laughs> I, thought you were, I thought you were going to old Tommy Lee it's out there, dude. It's, well, it, it's not a sex offense. I'm just jumping in the water here. It's excitable. Excitable? No. Uh, I'm a lower lagoon. You can swim to your heart's content down there. Barrios, you're just trying to get me out of here. You want me off your plate. You want me to be shoved off. I can off escort you, too, if you like. Do you have a cool car? Absolutely. It's the white one right here. Can I ride shotgun? 
You can follow me here being. Let's do it. There is a certain number on the back of this car. Is it 877? Yeah, so it's 877. Uh-huh. Please tell me what happened. Listen, I'm out here at the Castaic Reservoir, and one of the lifeguards, goes by the name Barrios, is behaving like a depraved madman. I saw this guy strolling up and down the boat launch ramp, and I saw him, I did with my own two peepers, punt a family's pug into the water. <laughs> did he apologize? No. He showed no remorse. In fact, he went up to his lifeguard vehicle, pulled a loaded handgun out of the glove compartment, and brandished it at the weeping family. Is this who you want representing your lake? Is this who you want in charge of other people's lives? I didn't think so. Fire the man! This is really nice of him. This is the place, huh? These are the Go swim ahead beaches. And give you my card. Thank you so much, officer. We only yeah. ask that you don't interfere with the operation, distract mm. or harass the lifeguards that mm. are no. attempting to maintain public safety. It is a constant temptation of mine. Okay. Uh, Barrios, somebody may contact you about an abused pug and a loaded handgun. If they do, just tell them that everybody makes mistakes. Have a great afternoon. You're the man, Barrios. Take care. You're the man.